everybody, this is Chris Davis with the New Miracles Training Center. And today we're going to show you how to use 3CX Phone version 12. Again, that's the 3CX Phone version 12, which is pretty much the software version or the soft phone slash CTI or control interface for your regular desk phone. All right, well, if you're ready, sit back, relax, and enjoy the training. All right, the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to place a call. As you see the mouse, I'll go and let's say the number I want to dial is a local number. And if Numerical set up your PBX, we're going to set it to dial out via your local exchange. So I'm going to call a number, which is going to be my cell phone, uh, 609-9901. And I hit call. And what you're hearing happen in the background is my desk phone is calling my cell phone, primarily because I'm in what's called CTI mode. And that means I'm controlling my desk phone. And you're hearing the ringing, so I'm going to go ahead and terminate the call so we can get back to our training. All right. And if you notice right here, it says CTI. That pretty much means it is controlling the desk phone. This is why you see this icon. Now, if we were going to use what's called the soft phone, um, let's say you've got a laptop, you're out traveling, then you'll use the soft phone or the 3CX phone. Um, as you notice now, you don't see CTI over here, and you have a picture kind of of a regular phone. Now, let me kind of explain some of these icons while I'm there. On hook means the, th the phone is ready to place a call. This says in office. Basically, that means you're communicating on the same local area network as your 3CX PBX. Do not disturb. That's pretty self-explanatory, which means I don't want to get bothered right now by the phone. Then you have your 3CX phone or your CTI, which means CTI is controlling your desk phone. But we're going to leave it in the 3CX soft phone for right now. Then you have your queues. So if you've got call center, like I have call center, you can actually check your call queues. And then last but not least is your voicemail icon. So a lot of people ask, well, how do I check my voicemail? You can click on this icon right here. And what you'll see happen is it will dial the voicemail. And the voicemail is going to play. It's going to ask for your extension number and then your PIN number. However, I'm going to show you a much, much easier way to check your voicemail. All right, well, for the rest of the demo, I'm going to switch back to CTI mode. Everything works the same, whether in CTI mode and or using the 3CX soft phone or 3CX phone, except the fact one is going to be dialing a phone on the desk, the other will be dialing the soft phone. All right, and if you notice down here, this is what's called the presence menu. Now you can you don't have to have this open because you can get to the same thing by pressing the presence icon on the bottom. And what it shows you is the phones that are actually registered. You see all the names, um, and it's really cool if you need to place a call to one of these people. Let's say I know that Chris, which is me, is not in the office, which I am, but for the purpose of this demonstration. I am going to call the mobile phone. So I'm going to right click and hit call mobile. And you hear my desk phone is now calling my cell phone. Okay, I'm going to disable that. Let's go back into the presence. Let's see some of the other things you can do. If I want to intercom Chris Davis or anyone else in this list, I can right click and hit intercom. And now I am live on that intercom on the other side of the office. Okay. And when I hang it up, it actually hangs up the desk phone as well. Here's something else you can do. Let's say you've gotten a call that's come in and you need to place that person on hold. Let me show you what happens when you get a call in. Y'all give me just a second because I got to call myself. So when the call comes in, you'll notice it gives you an option on the screen to answer, decline, or divert to voicemail. 
If it's something you can take the voicemail, you take the voicemail, but if you need to answer it, you go ahead and answer it. And what you heard in the background was me answering the speaker phone while talking on the regular phone. Now, if I need to transfer this call to someone, it's very easy. I can just click transfer and put in their extension and the call's going away. If I need to use my computer speakers, if I need to mute it, here's a cool feature, conference. So I can host a conference straight from a line that comes in. Or here's something else, if I need to record the call. Now, there are some laws behind that, and I'm not an attorney, so I'm not going to get into that. But if you need to record the call, by all means, you just push this button and you start recording the call. Now, here's a common feature. Put someone on hold. So you just go up here and you click the hold. And what's happening is now the person is on hold. And you hear the hold music that I have playing. When I want to take them off hold, I click the same button, and now the person is no longer on hold. If I need to transfer them, I click transfer, and I put the extension, or I can just grab it from the phone book. I'm going to transfer this to Chris Davis. I'm going to transfer it to his cell phone. Well, I can't transfer the cell phone because that's where I called from. So I'm going to put it as extension, and I just called the other phone. Now I'm going to hang that up, and... That's kind of what happens. All right. Let me show you guys a few features of the uh, soft phone. Remember that big presence menu? If I need to see that large presence menu, I just click this right here, and all of a sudden it pops the large presence menu up. Now, here's a couple things with that presence menu that's kind of cool. I'm going to call in again, and I'm going to kind of show you what happens. System's going to come in, and it's going to hit my auto attendant. So now I'm dialing my video editor extension. You're going to see it answer. You're going to see the call coming in, and I can right-click, I can divert it, or I can drop the call, or I can answer it. And so right now I've answered the call. So from the large presence menu, you can see wireless caller, the phone number, who they're talking to, the video editor, which is the phone I'm using, you can see that it's connected and the duration of the call. Now, here are some things you can do right here. I can right click and transfer this call to another place or person. I can create a conference. I can park the call, which means anyone can pick it up. I can drop the call or record the call. That's all from this menu here. Now, if I want to place the call on hold where only I can pick it up, I click hold. You got to remember the difference in a hold and a park. Park means anybody can pick it up. Hold means only one person can pick it up, and that would be the person who placed them on hold. So now I'm going to reconnect to this call, and I'm going to park the call. So once I hit park, there's a little light on my phone, which you can't see. Um, but if you go in here, you can see where it says unpark the call. And so now I have effectively grabbed that call and it's back on my desk phone. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hang up now. And I'm going to kind of walk through some of the other features, the other icons and features on the bottom. The presence menu, which you've already seen. That's the small presence when menu, and this is the large one. Now we go to the call, the uh, phone book, and this is where you see everyone within the company um, or your business directory. You can actually have people who are not a part of your company in this phone book. Call history. Here are some of the calls I placed. And it actually tracks all the calls and the duration of the calls. And since these were several test calls, you see, you know, 15 seconds, 8 seconds, because we were just testing. All right, next is your dialer menu. This is where you dial numbers. If you click here and then start dialing on your keyboard, it will dial in that menu. Now, here's a real cool feature. This is how you check your voicemail. And if there was a voicemail here, you would actually see it. 
this is how you set your greeting if you move your mouse over it, it says set voicemail greeting and what you can do is you click here and you can pick which greeting or you can browse let's say you've got a sound file out there a wave file you just grab it and put that wave file there and now you just installed your greeting all right let's go back to checking the voicemail all right the next thing here is chat you're familiar with instant messenger well this is what a chat is so you click on chat compose who do you want to send this message to yeah I think I'll send it to Chris that's me and now you see it tells me one that that person's online and so what I'm gonna do is say testing and when I send it he just got an alert and a text and it basically like an instant message of what I was wanting to say this is a great way when you when you have someone on hold for someone to just send them a quick chat message and say hey you know John Smith's on the line do you want to take the call or you want to go to voicemail and that way you can decide whether to send that call to voicemail or send it to that person all right conference here's a cool feature I want to create a conference I can select who I am creating this conference with or I can add a number which let's say I'm calling someone from outside the organization and I add that number and when I hit start my phone is going to call them in conference mode and as I pick up my phone that says hey he's ready for the conference and then the other person's phone will ring as you can hear my cell phone in the background and now we have a conference call at the end of the conference if you guessed stop conference will end the conference now here's some other things you can do during the conference you can hang up with one person while keeping the other one on you can mute one person while keeping the other while having the others unmuted as you can see I muted Chris Davis but the video editor is not muted now I can unmute him but now I want to stop the conference and I once I click it it hangs up all the lines and so now that has been done and the last but not least are your settings now let me show you where this is because this is a very important section here let's say you are using a headset now the headset that I recommend is a Logitech H800 that's Logitech 8, H800. It has the ability to answer, hang up, create, change the volume and everything on the headset. All right. So let me start from the top. Call forwarding. This is how I define what happens with this extension. Right now it says if no answer in 36 seconds, forward to extension emergency support. Now I can change that. I can forward this to anybody. I can forward this to Chris Davis if I like, which I probably will. Um, I do not want voicemail, so I'm going to uncheck that. And so what happens is after 36 seconds, this will forward to someone else. It says if phone is busy or not registered, I can then define what happens. Here's a very, very important piece. Accept multiple calls. This means that you're on the phone on, say, line one on your phone. Someone calls. If this is not checked, that person will instantly go to your voicemail. However, if it's checked, the phone will ring, which will allow you to put one person on hold and take the other call. Very, 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 very important feature. So make sure if you're having an issue with not being able to get more than one call at a time, this is selected. I'm going to hit save now when I'm away I can define what happens and it's pretty much going to be all the same on, for all the menus it's just different definitions of where you are and those things will go into how you define those so for right now let me reset this back because if it doesn't answer in 36 seconds yeah I think I will leave it going to Chris Davis that's me again and I don't want it to ring my mobile simultaneously I just want to accept multiple calls okay so let's go back now configuring accounts in most cases you're not going to go in here but if you're having issues 
then you will want to go in here and just verify all of these settings are correct. And in most cases, you're going to contact us, the administrator, or your 3CX administrator, and we'll go through that section with you. Recordings. This is how you check and see if you have call recordings. So let's say you've recorded a call. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to call. And what you're hearing is the system dialing my cell phone. And you'll hear the cell phone ring in a few seconds. Phone's ringing. So I'm going to answer it, but I want to record this call. So right now I'm recording the call. And that could be, let's say if you're doing something for someone and you want to make sure that you heard them correctly, um, or whatever the case may be, this works really great for attorneys. Um, doctors, offices, uh, you know, any type of medical. If you need to archive that phone call for any reason, this is a great way to do it. So I'm finished recording the call. I stop hitting, stop the record, and then I hang up. We're going to go back into our settings, recordings, and voila. Here are the two recordings that I made, and I can play the recording on the computer. I can play it on the phone. So if I hit play on the phone, you hear the phone ring, I answer, and I'm actually going to be able to hear what that recording was. So I'm going to hang it up. Um, I can hit play recording on the computer. And what happens is, you see this window here, it launches, wants to save the file and play it. Or if I don't need it, I can hit delete recording. It asks me, yes, I want to delete that one. Same thing here, delete recordings. So that's a great way. And let's say you didn't really need it. That's what you do. You delete it. But if you need it, you can actually save that recording. All right. Let's go down to audio options. Again, if you're using a headset, this is a very critical piece. As you notice, I have the Logitech wireless headset listed here for the microphone as well as the speaker. And basically, this allows when I'm on the phone, that headset, if I'm using the soft phone, the headset to be my primary communications device. And it's telling the system where to route the audio. Next, we have the hotkeys. And this is pretty self-explanatory. Let's say if you want to have a click to dial or select something and dial it, this is what where you define that. You can define whatever that key is right here. And that can be pretty much any key on the keyboard. So you have a, a list of options to choose from as your input key. Next, we have advanced. This is if you want to launch an external app, an external application when you receive a call. So let's say you've got your CRM application. Um, this is a great way to do that. Now, if you're using the CRM module that comes free for Outlook, then it will automatically launch Outlook, or excuse me, it will automatically launch the contact window if that person is a contact. And then language that's kind of self-explanatory. About tells you the versioning information for the 3CX phone. Themes, there are pretty much two themes. There's the black and the white theme. Um, and I'm using the black theme, so I'm really not going to get much into it. Here's your exit your application. This means I want to close the 3CX phone. Be very careful about doing this because once you close it, you're going to have to find it in your start menu and reopen it. So I'm not going to close it. I'm just going to go back, and now I'm back at the phone section. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here at New Miracles. That's 803-350-0500. That's 803-350-0500. And request for Chris Davis. Um, I'm extension 101, as you can see here. And I'll be more than happy to help you. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Again, that number is 803-350-0500.